The 4th century historian Eutropius gives a brutal analysis on the reign of Emilian. Emilian came from a very insignificant family, his reign was even more insignificant, and he was killed after three months. Emilian did rule for only three months in 253. At best, we can see him as a typical example of a 3rd century soldier emperor, raised by the troops, unwillingly recognised by the Senate, and then murdered by his own soldiers. Emilia was born in what is now Jabba in Tunisia in around 207. There are a few details about his life, but we do know that he married Cornelia Supera, also from Africa. By the 250s, Trebonianus Gallus had appointed him in charge of the Moesian legions. He came into his own in the aftermath of the treaty that Trebonianus Gallus made with the Goths in 251. 253, the Goths invaded again. With the emperor in Rome, it was up to him to defend the empire. Emilian did this remarkably successfully. The historian Sosimus writes, He killed great numbers of Goths and led his forces into their country. He removed every obstruction to his progress and at length freed the subjects of the Roman Empire from their ferocity. He was then appointed emperor by the army. And the army was key to his brief reign. You can see this in his coinage, which emphasises his military prowess. Here, with Dinah victorious holding a bow and arrow, or with Victoria holding a wreath and palm leaf. Almost immediately, Emilian marched down the Flaminian Way to meet and defeat and kill Gallus near the modern city of Terni in August. And from there, he went to Rome. Emilian had little chance to reign. Almost immediately, news broke that Valerian, then governor of the provinces of Norica and Mauritia, were en route to Rome at the head of what was a larger army. Sometime, probably in late September, his men recognised that a civil war was unwinnable. They killed Emilian near the modern town of Spoleto. He was the only emperor other than Domitian to have his memory formally damned by the Senate.